Have you ever wanted to become an arc star legend? What about never missing a shot in an octane jump pad? Well, there's never been a way to practice that until now. There's finally a sort of in-game way to aim train, and it's built off of R5 Reloaded. And I'm going to show you exactly how to install it and how to use it in this video. So make sure to watch the entire thing. The only thing you're going to need before you can actually start installing this is R5 Reloaded. If you don't already have it, I have a great tutorial on my channel that I have in the top right and linked in the description. So if you don't have R5 Reloaded installed yet, make sure to go check that out. If you do, proceed like this. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the link in my description titled GitHub Aim Trainer. That'll lead you to this GitHub page right here. Once on the page, you're going to go to the code green box near the top right click on it, and then hit download zip. After that, you're going to want to go to the initial release, or if it's been updated since then, it might say something else, but it'll be under the releases tab. You're going to go into that and download these three files right here. To download them, it's really simple. Just click on it, like I'm doing now. Once all of the files are downloaded, you'll want to locate them in your downloads folder. Once there, you're going to want to extract r5 underscore aim trainer dash r5 underscore aim trainer dot zip. You can do it if you're on Windows 10 or 11 almost exactly as I'm doing right now. It might take a second, so give it some time. After it's extracted, another folder will pop up under the same name except it doesn't have dot zip after it. You can delete the dot zip file now and go into this folder and ensure that all of these files are there. If they're not, you've done something wrong, so you'll want to restart. But if they are, you're on the right track. Now you'll want to copy all of these files, and then go into your R5 Reloaded folder, then into the Platform folder, and then paste them inside of the Scripts folder. Before pasting them, you might want to delete everything there. Now we're going to want to place the other three files that we downloaded into the places where they're supposed to go. If you pull back up the GitHub page where you downloaded them, it'll say exactly where they should go, but I'll just walk it through. The aimtrainer.rpak file is supposed to go in slash packs slash win64. So you'll want to go into your R5 Reloaded folder, go to packs, go to win64, and drop that file where it's meant to be. I just did the wrong one, but drag and drop that into this location. Next, we'll want to move the HUD script underscore MP dot res file into the folder where it should be. This one's a little bit weird. You're going to go into the platform folder, create a new folder called resource, exactly how I've spelled it here, create a new folder called UI, and then drop it in there, the HUD script id file. It's really simple, you just gotta make sure you don't spell it wrong. The last one is the playlist underscore r5 folder. This one's super easy. You just wanna drop it directly into your platform folder, like it is right here. After you've done all this, the installation's basically done, but you need to actually learn how to use it or else you'll fail horrifically. You should open r5 reloaded by opening the r5 apex.exe folder. File, sorry. You might, have to ha you might have to hit allow access, but once you do, it'll bring you in-game, like it's about to do to me. If you have an outdated version of R5 Reloaded, and it looks different than mine, it might still work. I personally haven't tested it though, so if you're having any problems with an older version of R5 Reloaded, make sure to update. Once you're in the game, make sure to go to Create Server. You can name it whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. You don't need to select a map, but you need to select a playlist. Make sure you choose Flow State Aim Trainer as your playlist, select your visibility as offline, and start the game. This might take a minute if it's on your first open. Once in the program, you'll have a variety of choices to choose from, but before we get into a training, let's change the settings. From here, you can change what weapon you're using, and while this is a Season 3 file, there are more modern guns like the car. They do this by using an R99 model, or... Yeah, that's an R99 model, but they change the recoil pattern, the hit fire, 
the damage and everything, so it's almost indistinguishable. It might sound a little different and look a little different, but don't worry, it's a car. If you want to change a sight, you can right-click to any sight that is available on that gun. For now, I'm just going to choose an R99 with this sight because it's the easiest to do. You can obviously choose your shields, the strafe speeds, and everything because I know you can read. Some interesting ones are auto reload on hit, which means your gun will fully reload each time your bullet hits, or auto reload on kill, which is the same thing, but it's for a kill. For some reason, you can play as a dummy. I don't know. And infinite training means that there's no timer and you decide to end it when you do. If you want to change the individual timer, you can change it right here to whatever duration that you want. For now, I'm going to set it to 120. You can also see the past challenges that you've done. I haven't done any because I just installed this. So now we get into your game modes. Some of these are very much designed for other guns than others. Like if I tried close fast drives with an R99, clearly it's not designed for that. This is designed for a wingman, a PK, or something of the sort. It doesn't really make sense to use an R99 on it, but you can. And that's really what's great about this. This aim trainer gives you the versatility to do basically whatever you want. If you just want to shoot targets that run around and do nothing, you can. If you want to shoot tile frenzy, like grid shot, you can. If you want to shoot octanes flying in the sky, you can. And Apex has really never had an aim trainer like this until now. And that's what's so great. Now we can finally train in real scenarios that we'd see in game. Like miserably failing to shoot a Valkult. Now I don't have an excuse. So I, I fucking hate it. But that's really about it. I really hope you guys get better with this aim trainer because I'm certainly going to try. So with that... I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye now.